KOTOR 1, oh. Has a pretty solid ending. KOTOR 2 is made from, by Obsidian. Oh, the New Vegas people. And also, uh, Outer Worlds. Its story and characters and writing is amazing, but it's buggy AF, and the ending is rushed as heck. Oh, hey, it would be a good idea if I was capturing, huh? I mean, it would be a good idea if I was capturing, huh? There we go. Steam World Quest, Hand of Gilgamesh. Why, why is my macro button not working? Why is my macro button not working? What is happening? Why, why do things have to not work? Oh no. Okay, hold on. Let me let me unplug this and replug it in. It's not working. Oh, there we go. Cool. Do we want talk sounds? We want bloom. We I I want this to be a slider. I want to crank that bloom. Uh, Fallout New Vegas is better than Fallout 4, which is better than Fallout 3, which is better than getting punched in the stomach, which is better than Outer Worlds. What? That's a spicy take. Outer Worlds was not good, you say? Ah, oh, I mean, it was, it was a little bit good. I'll tell you what, I enjoyed Outer Worlds more than I enjoyed Fallout 4. And maybe that's a spicy take from me, but all I'm saying is, you know, they're, they were both pleasantly mediocre. Yo, that's a even spicier take. I think Fallout 4 is bad, I'm sorry. That's even spice. Yo, we're just gonna plunge into the hot sauce today. Suitable difficulty for most players. Battles are significantly harder. Recommended for players who want an extra challenge. Should I go for Legend? I'm unsubbing from coffee now, boy. Oh, sh shoot. No. If you unsub, then I'm, I can't play Neo Scavenger. <laughs> that uh, straight up sounds like I'm holding you hostage. You can't do it. I'm going to play as an uh, on night. Time to get ready for bed, son. Oh, it's this guy. Come on, Dad. Tell me a story first, please. Oh? You want to hear another tall tale from the high seas, do you? No, not another pirate story. I want to hear about dragons and knights in shining armor. Dragons, you say? Well, then we have to go way back to the age of heroes. When our world was still young and innocent, the gods grew born and forged a heart of evil and placed it in the chest of a behemoth. A true hero was called upon, and by his hand, the corrupted heart of the monster was torn out and buried where it could do no harm. Over the years, his heroic deeds fell into obscurity. Instead, Heroes of fortune spread across the land like a shadow. But there was still light to be found. Our story begins with two such lights. Two friends strolling through the forest in search of a mushroom. Oh, heck yeah, mushrooms. Typical gods. You know, I gotta say, I really appreciate the world building of SteamWorld. The knight and the alchemist. It isn't just like robots, yay. Um, like, you know, the events that happen each, in each game feel pretty significant. I might have to shut my balcony door. Can you hear that banging? If that persists, I'm... I, I say if that persists, I... Okay, hold on.
Oh, boy. As if sent on a miss mission, what kind of voice should I give our Millie? The banging was, well, it's gone now. It won't hurt us now, where, it, where, where, where I put it. But it was a game you were, weren't were streaming. No, no, no. As if sent on a mission by the ancient gods, our heroes cut their way through Greenfinger's Grove. The smell of hazard and fungus hit them as they searched for the fabled peppermint puffer. Will you stop narrating everything? Chapter 3 in the Hero's Handbook clearly points out the importance of visualizing. Visualizing my foot, that fully illustrated book of yours is pun-ridden cringe fest. Kring? Oh no, not... Not Kring. They're both girls, so high-pitched. I'm not doing that. Just uh, picture my voice, but several octaves higher, okay? Hey, don't diss the book. And by the way, when are we eating? We should have taken Galio up that breakfast offer when, before we left. Good after evening, everyone. Hello, Neville. Sigh. He didn't invite us for breakfast. He said he'd rather eat the slowly gathering dust in his basement before joining our mushroom hunt. And this mushroom hunt we're hunting is important enough for you to literally put me out of bed? You can't do real alchemy from the comfort of a bed. A few of the professors at the college actually tried that, but the rest of them shriveled up over their research in musty, uh, sun-forsaken labs. I just started, yeah. There is one professor, though, who really inspired me. She underlined the importance of actually going out in the world to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many. Today's deployment is about finding the medicinal peppermint puffer. Not only is it uh, anti-hypertensive, uh, hepato, hepatoprotective, and nephroprotective, it can also... Mm, you're setting me in the mood for stew. We're not making stew. Look, let's just get going. I know you get restless, but so why don't you take the lead for a while? Ba, 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 ba. New adventure! I like robots. Is there a secret? We've already searched that part of the forest. Let's try searching. Okay, well, listen, I, I, I am uh, a person of... Uh, Oh, we can we can travel in many directions, many dimensions. Oh, these are mushrooms. Many objects in the world, such as the mushroom patch ahead, can be interacted with. Okay. Hey, that was easy. Time enough to get these cooked up before the cr rooster crows. Unfortunately, these are common brushwood amanitas. We're after a pepper peppermint puffer. Remember? Dang. Also, they're poisonous, so don't eat them. Double dang. Blast, where is that kid? Blast, blast. Oh, mecha goblins. Well, yeah. Gah, more of those pompous posers from the village. Coglin, oh, I like that a lot. Hepato is liver, right? All characters are robots, then. Yes. Wait a minute. I knew the guild had some flimsy hangarounds, but you're practically rattling around in that bulky armor. Did you just call me scrawny? Whoa, easy now. I didn't say. This armor fits me perfectly. Here we go. Tutorial, punch card battles. Battles are fought using punch cards. Each time you, you'll you draw up, up to six cards, these cards represent abilities your heroes can use. Um, you can choose up to three cards to play each turn. The cards will be lined up at the bottom of the screen when you're happy. Blah, 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 blah. If you prefer, you can also select cards and targets by selecting on them with your mouse or right-clicking to cancel. A few alternate options for interacting with your cards will be available uh, by hovering. Okay. So, um, I want to preface this game. Uh, both this and SteamWorld Heist were games I started and never finished. Um, for a couple of reasons, but honestly, just at the time, I wasn't feeling it. 
Hand of Gilgamesh specifically, I wasn't feeling it because I, I there's certain mechanics of it were not really, really um, they weren't uh, resonating with me. So we'll see if my opinion of it improves. But also, I'm going, I'm very uh, determined since I, based on my positive impressions of Heist, um, to 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 kind of chew through this game, regardless of its quality. So if you're, if this is something you will enjoy, I hope you will, you know, join me on this long haul to uh, to try and appreciate this game. Um, all right, Coglin. Coglin D. Oh, oh, we we do we do we play many cards and then they all happen. What is this? I for details. Heals Armalee by 75%, Madge enrages her strength for, by one grade for three turns. So I, I assume if I do that first, then um, she'll do more damage with the other two. They said 13, how come we only did 12? Do, do, do. Ba -da -do 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 -do. Your heroes can play three kinds of cards. Strike, upgrade, and skill. Strike cards are just what they sound like. Basic, uncomplicated attacks that deal damage to your enemies. Upgrade cards empower your heroes temporarily in some ways. As your heroes use strike or upgrade cards, they build up steam pressure. That can be spent to play powerful skill cards. Ah. So how much uh, steam do we have right now? Book Bash. Mana Barrier. It's a roguelike deck builder? No. No, it's an RPG deck builder, which is kind of interesting. Oh. Okay, so we have two steam. So we could do 44 damage to someone. Let's uh, let's just kill. Ah. So now we, we, we gotta use some other skills, maybe. We'll, we'll do this to the other one. And then we'll do a mana barrier. Good. Big bang attack! Final flash! I really, I mean, as is typical for uh, the games that this company makes, I don't know their name, I'm sorry. Steam World um, Games. This game looks really cool. Generates one SP. Your heroes have a shared pool of SP. Oh, that's good to know. Skill cards are very versatile and powerful, but if you don't have enough SP, you can't play them all. Manage your pool of SP wisely. I think the bar at the top is the steam. I could be wrong. You are correct. This game was a lot more challenging to me than Heist. You use basic attacks to build up the gears on the steam gauge and then use steam gauge to power up stronger attacks. Uh, what's happening? Well, what's happening right now is we're playing cards in our hand. Uh, we can't play these because we need more steam. Steam is generated from a other basic attacks. But we could do this because it only requires one attack. And we could just kind of finish our turn there. I'll play my other cards, but this is enough. I like the, the little punch card at the bottom. Is a, a really nice touch detail. Trashium scrap. Easy as a mushroom pie. Mmm, pie. We've clearly stepped into Coglin turf here. Let's just try and uh, get out of this in one piece, okay? You think there's more of them? Awesome. It's like hurting a small tornado. You're not gonna get out of this in one piece. Man, that place is bussin' with pirates. <laughs> that joke is just as funny the second time. <laughs> Hey, Andrino, how are you doing? Thank you for joining Hand of Gilgamesh stream. Uh, our heroes chanced upon a relic, a testament to the glorious past. Battles of past, sorry. And some long forgotten treasure. More likely Coglin loot stolen from unwary travelers. The hero's handbook declares, after beating up ruffians fair and square, the champion deserves a proper reward. You found two repair vials. 
can be used to heal your heroes or cure status conditions. They are a good way of dealing with challenges that you can't solve with cards alone, but supplies are limited. You can find recovery items in chests by defeating enemies or by buying them from merchants. Use recovery items outside of combat by going to the item. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, we got some money for doing that. Nice. Can we go over here? <clears throat> Simp squad? Yo, Simp squad? Yeah. Seems very suitable stream so far. You're playing along with your Switch. I've been waiting for this. Yo. Oh, shoot. More of those pint sized troublemakers. I hope you don't mind. I'll be reading all of the uh, dialogue. You can treat me like one of those kids books where you press the little button and it and it says little, little Tom went to the market to grab some tomatoes but will his mom let him have some candy who knows uh press the next button turn the page let's ambush them the hero's handbook describes just what to do in a situation like this there's two whole pages with diagrams on how to start a little goblin and we sneak up behind them, strike them first, and gain the upper hand. You must realize that regardless from which direction you come waving a sword at anyone, you will startle them. Whoa, so you say the method works on any anybody? The work the book is great. No, yo, I can I can read. Try that button again. The book is great. Beware, foes will engage you as if if they see you. Gain an upper hand against them by pressing the indicated button when you they are close enough to attempt a preemptive strike. This will cause your foes to begin the battle already wounded. I don't know if I did it. I don't know if I did that successfully. Probably not. Uh, I'm probably going to be really bad at that. You can redraw cards in your hand up to two times each turn. Redrawing a card means that the selected card will be discarded and replaced by a new card. Hey, I have a genuine question. Anyone in chat uh, Magic the Gathering fan? Discarded cards will eventually make their way to your hand, so you don't hesitate to use redraw often to get rid of unplayable. Uh, remember, if you neither play nor draw redraw anything, your hand will not change. Um, I'm like really bad at making a deck. I'm not sure how to form a deck so that it like you can combo cards. It's not something I'm very good at. Um, I would like to get better at it though, because you know, like like anything in this world, uh, you will enjoy something more if you're better at it. Like take uh, take Caves of Cut for instance. A hundred percent, you're gonna enjoy that game more if you're better at it. Practice makes perfect, you know. Oh look at that! We can do two skills to charge up steam, theoretical steam, and then use those two, two steam to do a finisher move. That's kind of cool. I haven't played MTG or Yu-Gi-Oh in like ten years, but I still have decks in a drawer somewhere. I really recommend MTG Arena. It's actually like a non-offensive free-to-play model. Like they don't hammer you with like you have to spend money to make it work. Oh. Yo! Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Well that's fine. I mean those are still deck building games. I really think we need new t terminology. <laughs> um... But, you know, like, you still make decks in that game. Um, so it still counts. Let's just uh, focus on forming. Like, I'm really good at deck building games because deck building games focus on choices, right? When you, when you get down to it, um, deck building games are really just like, do you want this card or this card? And I'm like, you know, in my head, I'm like, it, 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 it turns the essay into a multiple choice question, you know, like MTG, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh are like essay tests. It's like, we want you to form your own deck and, and come to a conclusion and, and come up with a theme and a thesis and all of this business. And I'm like, yo, my dog, I'm actually like really small brain, please, um, like make, make this easy for me. G give me some choices. Um, deck building games are great for me because it's like, you know, wh who, wh where did the the battle of uh, of the bulge occur? Did it happen in you know A, B, C, or D? I'm like, okay, well, I I, I can I can pick between these. I just traded the cards and sold them for pocket change. Yo, I have another story. Um, 
I used to have a lot of Magic the Gathering cards. Actually, this is a long story when I think about it. Maybe I should save it. Um, <clears throat> there comes there's, there's two stories here, actually. So uh, I got into Magic the Gathering because ultimately I really just wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons. Like, that's the truth. Uh, I didn't really know how to play Dungeons and Dragons, but I really liked the artwork in Magic, uh, Magic the Gathering. Like, the cards in Magic were really inspiring to me. I, I liked them a lot. You know what? Let's do this in the opposite direction. Um, so, uh, I started a Magic the Gathering club in my high school. And uh, here's another story. There's actually, you, you get three for one today on the, on the, the simple lore, uh, with the big simple lore. Um, we might have to use a potion on our friend there. I started a Magic the Gathering club in my high school because I really was that nerd. Um, and my principal at the time was truly... I don't know how to put this without being really rude about it. Not bright. Like, nobody liked her. She was kind of very belligerent. Really rude, both to students and teachers. And... Uh, when I tried to start a Magic the Gathering club, she was like, no, I'm not having this devil worship in my school. You know, this is clearly some some Satan business here. So, no, uh, you can't have a, you can't do a club without a, a like a teacher or, um, you know, student council present. I'm like, well, I guess fair enough. Although you're out of your mind. <laughs> Simple lore is better than spicy take. Okay, I appreciate that. Good to know. So I started the Magic the Gathering Club in my high school. There's the, there's the first part, okay? Um, present in my Magic the Gathering Club were was the person I had convinced. Uh, basically, they were a teacher in training. They were trying to become a teacher. And so, you know, when you go to teacher's college, you have to do a year of, like, basically, um, you know, you... you, you you work as a teacher, basically a substitute who is present during other teachers' classes. You know what I mean? Uh, you probably know what I'm talking about. They're they're present in class and they just kind of like learn the ropes and they have to do a year of this to become a teacher. So this guy I knew, his name was Joe, and um, he uh, he agreed um, tentatively to being my present teacher. Uh, and I, I gave him a Magic the Gathering deck. I'm like, I just want to start this because I want to play some Magic in school um, during my off time. He's like, okay, sure. So we actually kept this going for quite a long time. It was pretty fun. It was a good-ish time. But, uh, you know, it was just me and him. No one else joined at all. Uh, except for one other person. Steel Bracer. You found an accessory item. Before it'll do you any good, you must first open up the pause menu. Okay. Open the pause menu. Gotcha. All right, let's do this. Equipment. Accessory. Steel bracer. Gotcha. Um, there is one other person in my school, at least that I knew of, that played Magic, and that was uh, the bio teacher. Um, and he uh, he was a he was a really good guy. A lot of people respected him. Like a lot of students loved him because he he really went out of his way for people. Um, he was also very busy. Hold on a second. Look, corn uh, Car Copernica. Hold on. Let me get let me get some coffee. Let me caffeinate. Give me give me a, give me a second here. All right, look, Copernica. It should have been Copper, Copernica. Even the Coglins have raised statues over Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. The majestic pose, the pride of a great deed oozing from every cut of the chisel. Ugh, those statues are literally everywhere. Oh no, are we gonna get into some statues politics? Tear it down. We have no idea how problematic Copernica actually was. No, no, that's our history. That's our history. No, tear it down. God. 
You only cared about it when we started tearing it down. You never gave a crap about history before. Yo, we're getting spicy now. Of course they are. Gilgamesh saved our king kingdom from certain doom. He defeated a huge snarling uh, behemoth, tore out its evil heart with his bare hands, and... And you can relive that very moment in your hero's coloring handbook. <laughs> Humph. At least Coglins know how to appreciate the heroes of the past. Deleted messages. No, I saw that. You laughed maniacally. You can't, you can't troll me. Unlikely, they seem to be more into piles of garbage and lumber held together by yarn. Hero statues. These awfully majestic hom homages to the ancient hero serve as a good place to sit down for a while and s get some rest. Approach the statue to save your progress. Okay. So, back to my story. Uh, my bio teacher was the only other person I knew who played magic, and he came, he attended my club exactly once. Um, and, uh, you know, it was only the one time. I bugged him a long time to come also, because he was like, yeah, I have, I have a magic deck, and I'm like, you should come to the club and play. And I'm like, well, I'm kind of busy, but, you know, maybe at some point. So I kept bugging him, like, come on, come on, play some magic. Wait, can it be? There it is. The peppermint puffer. It's even more majestic than I could imagine. Success smells like peppermint. It will be like eating breakfast desert, uh, dessert and brushing your teeth at the same time. We're not going to... Uh, you know what? Let's just grab it and get out of here. So eventually he came and we played magic and it was a good time. It was just the one time though. Just like the grinding gears of endless time, our heroes halted to catch their breath. With their peppermint perfumed prize in hand, they readied their swords. Hands off! This peppermint puffer will clean out the mold from the funnel on the old well. We're helping the entire village. You need to dry it in one whole piece to extract all. Oh, did you hear that? I can't help it. This sweet and crisp, crisp scent makes me hungrier by the second. I don't think that was your belly. Oh, yo, straight from Dark Souls. Oh, darn. Whoa, I know what you're going to say, but imagine how much stew we could... Ah, eek. My mushrooms, who dares steal Gomphus' beautiful mushrooms? Easy there, chief. We're just here to pick some of these unsuspecting innocent mushrooms? Ravagers. I'm not a ravager, I'm an alchemist. Gomphus doesn't care. Gomphus will teach you not to plunder nature. All right, let me get through this story or else it's going to take an eon to actually get to my point here. Uh, eventually, I joined my bio teacher's class. Some enemies have natural resistance. I got you. Um, and, uh, you know, he was a really good teacher. I had a, a really good time. And also, um, you know, he ran an after school kind of thing going on for a while. Um, he did a little bit of uh, poker. And we all had to get permission to play poker after school, which was kind of fun and um eventually uh he i like he mentioned well if you like magic the gathering you should actually try D D because it sounds like that's what you actually like you know um you know you like the 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 fantasy element of it rather than the kind of deck building element so uh i was like well i don't know how to play he's like well i'll teach you so after school for a while we were doing um you know, D&D. Fall to zero health that hero is scrapped. If all active heroes become scrapped, game over. Cards belonging to a scrapped hero become useless and waste space in your hand. Make sure to redraw those cards. Scrapped heroes are repaired after each fight, but health is otherwise not restored between fights. Uh, you can heal during battle during certain using certain cards, but that can be tricky. Visit a hero statue or use a recovery item. Okay. Your bio teacher took you gambling? No, we just played poker in class after school. It was just a little bit. There's no no money exchanged hands ever. It was just Texas Hold'em, honestly. Um. So um. Jeez, I can't remember. Oh yeah. So eventually, I got very into D and D, and my bio teacher even like gave me a couple of books to to you know send me on my. 
on my career as a, as a Dungeons and Dragons player. Um, and uh, I kind of came to the conclusion that I wasn't really a huge Magic fan. Zoom forward like many years later. Um, so does anyone in the comment, uh, in the chat know who uh, Edmund McMillan is? You probably do. You've probably played a game he's made. Uh, he made Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac and, uh, you know, The End is Nigh. And, you know, he, he's a designer for many, many games. Um, he did a thing on Twitter. Some cards inflict status conditions. These are negative effects. Okay, I gotcha. He did a thing on Twitter that was like, um, if anyone wants to send me their cards, like their magic cards, because he's hugely into magic. Uh, you know, let me know, and I'll I'll give you some merch. Now I'm a I'm a huge fan of pretty much everything that Edmund has ever made. <clears throat> so I took him up on this and I said I'll send you all of my cards, and I did. And I sent him my my entire collection of cards, and he sent me a uh, hand drawn picture of Isaac and Gish and Super Meat Boy. Uh, it was, it's a really nice little drawing and I had it framed. Um, and that's basically, the, you know, the story of my experience with magic. I, the, the real, sto <laughs> the real story is the pictures that we traded the Magic the Gathering cards away for all the time. Uh, that dude must have a weird mind. So yeah, it, it hangs on my wall to this day. I would I would not trade it for anything, basically. Um, we're gonna have to use some... Can we use some potions? Can I not... Oh yeah, here we go. Use recovery item. No, I only want to use one. Okay. Um, yeah, let's let's take a little bit of time to recover. Is this a deck builder? This is a weird one because um, yes, it is a deck builder, but it's a more of an RPG deck builder, which hasn't really like weirdly has not been done all that often. Every single deck builder is treated like a roguelike, whereas this one is treated actually like an RPG, which is interesting to me. I, I, I would honestly, I'm more intrigued by that than another deck building roguelike. Um, but yeah, well, we'll see. Oh, that was a nice amount of damage. Wait, does that fire... Uh, Induce weakness? Do they have weakness? Uh, deals 80% as fire damage to one foe three times. I don't know. Let's let's do this. Oh, we can't. We need more. We, we need more business. Let's just do some normal attacks. Hey bot, how are you doing? Hi right, Matan, I appreciate you, uh, you, 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 this is gonna be a struggle for you, I'm assuming, for the next, like, couple of months, because <laughs> I'm gonna be playing this in the first segment, and yeah, it's got cards in it, so I, I understand, uh, not, not enjoying it, maybe, but you gotta admit, it, it's a very nice looking game. I mean, you gotta admit, and you don't have to admit, I guess, if you don't want to, but, I mean, you gotta admit. <laughs> can hit zero and see enemy resistances and weaknesses oh are these guys weak to fire oh when it said weak does that just mean that I did I did uh, the the good damage like I did damage first they, they were weak to that damage 
Uh, yeah, okay, so they are weak to fire. I've got to say, um, maybe something that uh, off put me a little bit on this game was the interface is like clearly made for not PC. Because, you know, most of the... If this game was made for PC, I would just be able to hover over this creature and then it would just tell me maybe what what the, the weakness is and not have to do this weird like extra button. Uh, anyway. So we're going to do some extra fire. So it, does, it takes an extra three damage per fire hit. Deck builders, I kind of didn't enjoy last first segment game, to be honest. I'm just hanging around and enjoying the company. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, I, I, I could kind of tell you didn't like it because when we finished it, you were like, yes, finally, it's over. <laughs> No need to be honest. We, uh... It was hardly a secret. I figured you, uh... You might like that one more than this one, though, because at least it didn't have cards in it, right? On the one hand, I beat this boss before Big. On the other hand, he has way more HP than me somehow. I don't know, it's because I, I probably spend more time doing recovery. I also did use, um, oh, I guess I, I used that in a previous fight, so never mind. Ugh. I like the music. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's very non-fantasy music, though, I gotta say. Yeah, the deck, uh, the deck playing at, for, for an RPG game really does kind of work for me. I'm, uh, I'm really not a huge RPG fan. When I say RPG fan, what I really mean is JRPG. Like, turn-based kind of RPG is not something I've... I've really enjoyed all that much. It only has three battle tunes, too. I'm beyond amused. <laughs> Lots of games are using cards as a way to cho choose your actions instead of a list of actions like in the old days. I've seen a couple of RPGs using cards and it's okay. It adds a certain level of art. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It, you know, it has a little bit of variety. You have to actually think about your turn and not, like, when you have static, um, you know, static turns that you, you take the same turns every single turn, you really don't have any choice. So it's like, okay, yeah, I, my dude is hurt, now I use heal, because that's what I do. And then, you know, eventually I'm going to use this uh, thing because that's what I do when I, when I, like, it's, it's, I don't know, it gets boring to me, especially when a lot of those games, you're, it, it are grind fests. And I, I, I've said historically in the past that grind is okay. That just means there's more game, right? So long as the game is fun, it doesn't matter how much grind there is. Ha! Ah, didn't even break a sweat. But like, w when, when the, when the game itself is boring, at least to me, then grind starts to feel like a grind. I'm iffy on deck builders. The only one I've ever really loved is Inscription. Well, I mean, that's a that's a, like an actual deck builder, deck builder. Love that it was an actual card game rather than just your character's random actions this turn. Yeah, that's fair. Well, we'll see how I, uh, how like, you know, honestly, Kevbo, I, I kind of share your opinion on, on uh, like RPG deck builders. There can, there's a, there's a kind of flaw with them as well. So we'll see. I'll be accepted into the guild in no time. I let you tag along to the forest and you turn it into a freaking fight club. Hey, you wanted to experience nature hands on, right? I say we stuff our bags full of mushrooms and get back to the village. The things I do for learning. What did you learn? What did you learn? Did you learn anything?
Wait a minute. Did that say 67%? Did I miss a bunch of stuff? Of Goose Bucket. The village of Goose Bucket. That's not very robot-y. If it only has three battle tunes, then... Oh. Not to diss the games, but the banter is the most important part of these streams, for sure. That's fair. I mean, that should be the most important part of any stream, not to... Not to be, you know, also not to be hot on on these games at all. I, I like these games, but definitely, uh, you know, interacting with chat is is part of what I enjoy uh, more so than just the game. The game is a vehicle for the cutscenes, you see. <laughs> Yo, callback. Yo, callback? That's why I've told you a million times already, you should never stroke a duck against the what? But it was so cute and fluffy and a wagon. Fluffy wagon duck. Wow, I've never seen a wagon like that before. I wonder whose it is. Was that here earlier? It wouldn't hurt to have a look, I suppose. Liquid Goose. Hello, Henrik. How are you doing? I'm colorblind. Oh. Fun fact about Andrino. They are colorblind. Add that to the big simple wiki. Hello? Hello? Anyone in there? Maybe they're out. <laughs> that sounded so snarky, I'm sorry. Hmm, <laughs> a knight a knight errant knocking on an old woman's wagon this early in the morning? Sorry to disturb, we were just curious. You're totally a wise old woman, right? Oh, do you hand out quests? Because I'm more than ready for... Aha, uh -huh, no. Uh, I'm afraid I just, uh, I'm just a plain old traveling shopkeeper, and the shop is not quite open yet. They don't look that mechanical. Oh, I guess they kind of have a, some mechanicalness to them. Okay. Ah, uh, we've been on a mission from the ancient gods, and we've been picking mushrooms. Excuse my friend, we didn't mean to bother you. Oh no, not at all. In fact, uh, what sort of a merchant would I be if I let you leave without a small sample? Oh, a tribute from a wise elder. Lowers all foes' strength by one grade for three turns. Deals 120% match as frost damage to one foe and an equal amount to another random foe. Just a thing for a pair of young go-getters such as yourselves, I should think. Farewell, and be sure to visit my shop in town later, once that ruckus is over with. Which colors? I mean, both of them have revealed that they have stomachs, so these robots don't run on water steam, but some sort of biomatter. Yo, are they like, um, they use biofuel? Yeah, they, they run on corn. <clears throat> what a nice old lady. Yes, what did she mean by ruckus, though? You've received a batch of new, a brand new punch cards. How nice. To use them in battle, you need to pay a visit to the deck building screen and put them in your punch card deck. All right, so here's where I fail as a, as a deck builder. I, I, I absolutely fail at this part. The deck building screen lets you edit your hero's punch card decks to the left is a folder containing all of your collected cards. Right now, your collection is pretty meager, but don't worry, you'll find many more cards on your adventure. On the right is the hero's deck of cards available in battle. You should add cards to the deck by selecting them. Each hero must have exactly eight cards in their deck. Keeping your deck up to date is key to being successful in battle, so be sure to check out the screen whenever you find a new card. So here's my temptation, right? All right. So my t this is how my mind works, right? Oh, we got a creeping cold? That's cold damage, right? So therefore, we should have cold damage. Not just fire damage, cold damage, right? Take out one fire damage, put in one cold damage. Make sure we have both, both one, like basically maintain the deck that they've given me, but just like now we have a little bit of variety. We have cold and fire damage. Is that correct? Who can say? I don't know. Don't bug me. <laughs> and then shout. This card is in your collection. Now the problem with this one is it's technically a skill, but it uses up no steam. So all this really means is this is a, this is a card that generates no steam. Right? Um, interesting way of delivering that but can we put more of these in there we can i don't know if i want to i i i don't know we'll take out one heroic strike and put in another bravado just 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 to
play with the cards. Or I don't know, maybe we should take out one bravado and put in one shout. You know, again, just, just out of obligation to build a deck. Come on, get down with the sickness. I remember upgrading things being fun. I'm doing good. Played this game a few years back, had a fairly good experience. All the Steam World games are pretty, very pretty and the card game elements felt okay. That's kind of my take as well. Um, I guess I don't phrase that as much of a positive because it was just kind of okay and I didn't really feel like, you know, okay at the time. Um, I, I'm hoping I enjoy this game more this time and I'm more determined to, to play it this time. Wait a minute, something's not right. Let me get read some more messages also. Uh, at least gameplay is not Library of Ruina. It was horrible, but I have to admit sometimes it was cool, hard to explain. Uh, Library of Ruina is maybe a game I play on stream in the future. Maybe. It would require uh, a decent amount of hand-holding from someone who knows how to play it, but that is a game that I, I, it's far and above more complicated than any game I've ever played, basically. I'm not sure. What did, what did Bot say? Uh, sorry to hear that. What kind of color blindness? Oh, I'm not sure. How can you ask someone how, what kind, what colors they can't see? I don't know. I can't see them. <laughs> what is this red you speak of? Uh, tested more than once with different results. Generates steam. It doesn't cost anything, I think. It generates steam? I don't think it does. It's, it's technically a skill card. Skill cards don't generate s steam. Oh, when I say skill card, I mean it's a special ability card, I guess. What are those thick guild heroes types who are supposed to watch the gates? You mean the ones who laughed at us and said don't get lost in the forest? Uh, maybe Master Gaines summoned everyone to the guild club. Once I get my guild membership, I'm, I'll honor the code, just like a Gilgamech, and watch. And we'll strike down uh, on injustice with fire. Damn right. Sp sparks will fly if anyone so much as tries to... No, 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 look at the fire, the smoke. There's something burning. Hurry, let's find out what's going on. Speed up. Shift, hold shift to run, okay. Wee. I might help up, help out with arena, but I might be rusty as heck. Wow, that's fire, all right. What happened? We were only gone for a few hours. Look, there's some commotion going on towards Market Square. Let's go check it out. Run. Look at her pupils getting all tiny. What advanced optics at Copernica. Ooh. <clears throat> what the heck is this guy? Captain Canary. Canary? Can Canary. Canary. <laughs> Captain Canary. A decisive victory for the Void. Those dumbbells never knew what hit them. It was us, sir. We hit them, sir. Corporal Budge... As in previous villages, to see to it that all uh, that all guild heroes are wrapped up neatly. Yes, sir. On honor, sir. We'll have them all rounded up and ready for transport in no time. Who are these nerds? You heard the captain. Let's sweep the village with pride in our chests. A new world order is close at hand. It's always a new world order. Canary. Because he has a bird in the cage. Yeah, canary. I, I know it took me like three tries, but I got there. This is great. I've always wanted to be an evil henchman. Are we the baddies? I know the Dark Lord will reshuffle the world and all, but uh, why do we need all these guild heroes? You're the one of the new recruits, right? We don't ask any questions in the void. Why not? Shut up. Nice little henchman banter. Aha! You numbskulls are obviously involved with the fire. Prepare to be rightfully punished. More guild heroes. The captain will be pleased. Oh, I'm not really part of a guild but yet, but thank you. Uh, I mean, uh, prepare to go down, evildoers. Why are there furry robots? Wow. That's a... See, look, this is a special ability. I, I promise this will not generate any steam. It doesn't. It doesn't. I was correct. I did it. I did it. So uh, what are these guys weak to? 
They are weak to electricity, a conveniently an element that we don't have. But I'm sure we will in the future, so it's all good. Do 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 Frost damage to one foe and an equal amount to another foe. Oh, nice. So we could do this to both. Lower their attack, increase our attack. Frost, frost them. Yeah, frost them. Counter stance. Intimidate. Oh no, they lowered our attack. Or did they just do some damage? Let's uh, focus on one of them. We're gonna focus on generating a little bit of steam for now. Mina culpa, papai. Bimple? I don't know what that means. Five nights at Freddy's stream? I don't know. Is that what you want? Humanity was destroyed by their own creation, Fury, furry robots. Yeah, that's that's the lore of this world, is uh we built uh furry robots with um explicit purposes in mind, and then they turned against humanity. Who could say why? Um, and that's how we end up in these situations. FNAF stream? Pog. Uh, I, let, let, not to get spicy, but isn't FNAF, isn't Five Nights at Freddy's made by like a really problematic person? Like a, or like a really problematic person? I'd hate to give that series any more like attention than it deserves. I know not to be a downer or anything, but uh, you know what? Let's start using some abilities. Yeah, we'll we'll have to use a third uh, ability on that guy. Mia culpa is Latin. It's like my fault. Oh. FNAF's creator is kind of a scumbag. That's what I heard. Like, like not even, like, debatably or, like, you know, like, you've got your opinions, I've got mine. Like, he, he, he actually is, like, kind of a dirtbag, to put it lightly. To, you know? Listen. I'll, I'll try my best to keep my streams pretty, uh, you know, plain and, and, and polit politics free, but if someone's a, a, a scumbag, I'm not going to support them, and I'm not going to be silent about it either. But outside of that, we're, we're good. We'll, we'll, let's play, let's enjoy our nice little card game here. <laughs> Have you played any other SteamWorld games? Heist was always the big one that stood out to me, but I played it so long. Well, uh, Henrik, unfortunately, you, you missed, um, like, literally last week I finished Heist. Um... I, I played Heist for a good two months on, on the stream, and that's why I'm playing uh, Gilgamesh, is because I I wanted to play the follow-up, right? Which is actually a prequel, of course. But... I haven't played any of the Dig games on stream, and I think I would like to. They're very, very good. I have played and beaten both of them. They're They're, like, stupidly good. We couldn't... We couldn't stand heist. What are you talking about? No, don't don't do that, Andrino. No, no, don't tell me that. He said I'll play Gilgamesh. No, this is false. That'll teach them not to play with fire. And did you hear? They thought I was a guild hero. Speaking of which, uh, where are the guild heroes? They should have taken care of those goons right from the start. Someone's coming. On guard, you pyromaniacs. Wait, it's Galio. I, I love the design of this guy. He looks like a frog robot. I love it. You big grouch, why didn't you come with us to the forest? We met this giant mushroom and found a cool wagon with a... Never mind that. What the heck happened here? Mph, how would I know? And what's with people anyway? I just came from the baker and he was cowering behind the counter with his eyes shut real hard. He kept saying, take what you want, just don't hurt me. That's terrible. Did he say anything about what's going on? 
Nah, I didn't want to bother him. Figured I'd play along. Fresh buns, anyone? Breakfast, finally! Gimme, gimme, gimme. But that's... you didn't... You mean you didn't hear or see anything? Nope. I've been getting things done in the basement all morning. I finally tuned my water pressure and shifted this nozzle for the water to squirt in a more... All right, we have to hurry. It looks like the smoke is thicker over the town hall. I'm being fed false information. Dig 2 is pretty dang good. Dig 1 is nice, but so simple. It's simple in comparison, but I still really enjoyed it. And when you say we, you mean all three of us. So get a move on. Galio is a cleric? Oh, nice. I should have stayed in bed. This homebody craftsman struggles to find good reason to leave his mother's basement. He won't offer assistance freely, and he may bicker and bawl, but when it comes to the crunch, you can always trust him to be there for a friend. I love this design so much, honestly. This is, like, to me, peak design. I, I'm... For real. Like, it's got perfect proportion of, like, pauldron to, like, gauntlets to... Like, there's a little bit of frog in there. I love the little bird, the kind of mecha dreads. Everything about this design, the blacksmith element to it, I love it. It's seriously, to me, one of one of the coolest character designs. Found a scout badge. What, is, what does that mean? Oh, oh yeah, break things. Can we break these things? Nope. Chat never lies. Chat lies constantly. I have a, I have a, um, a little, what do, you, what do you call it? Photograph? What are those things called? They're instant print photographs? I didn't mean to do this. Don't trust chat's lies. Why do you, like, message attracted so much? You have gained the ability to use heroic chains. If you play at least one, three cards from the same hero, regardless of type, in the same turn, you'll perform a heroic chain, adding a follow-up effect at the end of the chain. The effect depends on the weapon the hero has equipped, so look around for weapons with chain effects. Nice. Well, we can't do that right now. Unfortunately, the only thing we have is, three of is uh, Frago. He's got a, is his name Galio, I think? So we're just going to have to generate a bit of steam. Actually, let's uh, let's lower their attack first, and then we'll do a couple of these. Wah, wah, wah. Polaroid. Thank you, Polaroid. I got that. Listen. <laughs> oh, these guys are mages. Yeah, Polaroid. I got a little Polaroid of chat. It says, don't trust their lies. You can use recovery items in battle by accessing... Yeah, I know. And also inspect post. I know that too. And you can retreat. Okay, we don't want to retreat. Basically ever. <clears throat> Galio from Galileo, Copernica like Copernicus. He healed himself? Yo, don't be annoying, my dude. Okay, so we could do a combo right now. Let's do a combo. Oh, let's do it correctly first. Chain. Raw. Yeah. Ga. Sma. So he healed. She healed herself a little bit. Yo, stop healing yourself. Oh my god. These guys are really annoying. <laughs> So we could do... We actually could do this combo. Check this out. Chain. Ra! Cha! Hya! Will they switch uh, targets? Oh. They're just gonna heal. Oh, nice! Ouch! Wow. Jeez. Um, all right, so we're gonna have to generate a little bit of steam. 
Um, well, let's, let's go ahead and do this. A new Steam World game. Is there a new Steam World game? Has there been one announced? I haven't heard from them in a while. I'm trying to write about without thinking more often, and then I feel self-conscious or off-topic or wrong. I am. What? That's all. That's all right. <laughs> so we can't complete a chain right now. So this is the best I can do. Oh, we can we can redraw. Need more steam. So now I need to redraw this. Oh, okay. So it costs steam to redraw. Am I? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I understand the redraw mechanic. If I'm being honest. I did totally ignore the tutorial, to be fair. A new Steam- Oh, I see- Sorry, Zach, you were just- You're just coming in now, and you're realizing we're playing Gilgamesh. Yeah. Uh, I finished Heist, so now we're playing uh, Gilgamesh. So I, I don't wanna- I wanna check this out first. Baker Eclair, are you alright? I think so. I hid behind my counter as soon as the commotion started. When I finally got my nerves sorted enough for a quick peek, everybody was gone and the village was on fire. And as if that wasn't enough, they stole my freshly baked buns. What a lousy thing to do. Yeah, um, such animals. What about the other villagers, or the guild heroes? Last thing I saw before ducking down was a group of folks heading for the tavern. I'm sure everyone's fine, still. I feel a bit relieved that my parents decided to visit my aunt this week. Yeah, I'm too worried about mom either. I've booby-trapped the whole house from the attic down to the basement. Sounds perfectly safe. We can use WASD to move around! Oh no, more combat. It's soul. It's a Souls-like deck builder. Imatan loves it already. I keep meaning to like try and catch them off guard, but I keep failing to do that. Get ready to hear this theme for probably a while. Sorry, I'm a 10. According to the internet, three there there may be a 3D Steam World game in development. Can't imagine what that would be like. That sounds really cool. I will play anything that this company develops, honestly. Ba ba. Oh, hey, nice. I didn't actually even see that chain. That just kind of naturally occurred. My cat is watching the stream. Yo, hello, cat. How you doing, cat? Meow. Does uh, does this, do these barriers like disappear at the end of the turn? How do I look at uh, the counter stats? What does that mean? Counter stats. What, what does that mean? Chance to counter attacks. Okay. I mean, I assumed, I assumed that was the case, but uh, I, you know. Do 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 It seems like this armor doesn't go away, so it's actually, like, really good. Oh. Unless they, of course, get rid of all of it in one attack. Ooh. Chain. Combo. You wanna... I wanted to... Like, I could kill this enemy, but, um... It would be kind of a waste. So instead I'm going to do 34 damage to the other enemy. Uh, barriers do disappear at the end of battle, but they last until deplete. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like they don't, they don't, they last over many turns is what I meant. Like I'm so used to other deck builders where like when you gain any temporary armor, it's it just disappears right away. Although uh, Armillo's armor just disappeared. 
Uh, what happened there? Does it like reduce tick by tick? Like one one armor at a time or at a certain certain amount of armor per turn? I need to go, but I will be back. See you later, bot. Ta-ta. Remember when people abbreviated Ta-ta uh, for like TTFN? That was always weird to me. Armor barriers only disappear when the enemy damages you. Okay, maybe I was seeing things then. Do 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 do. I don't know which is the correct way to go, and I don't. I want to go the opposite way, right? Can we go this way? We can go this way. Oh, hello. Uh, Algaron, help my poor soul. I'm too young to be turned into dust. Calm down, Quinn. Nobody's turning you into anything. They came out of nowhere. Just like that rash I got from the well of water. Yo, we got a big old chest here. Ooh, Gigaton Punch. Deals 515% strength as physical damage to one foe. Combo. Deals an additional 200% strength. Wow. Some cards are stronger when played together with a card from another hero. What? This is called a tag team combo. Oh, cards that have tag team combo effects have an icon corresponding to the other hero on the card. The card's detailed description also explains what bonus you get. To activate the tag team combo bonus, simply play any card from the indicated hero before the card. Okay. Well, it costs four steam, though. Uh, I will do it. I'll, I'll definitely throw it in there. Um, let's, uh, let's take out one Wrecking Ball and put in one Gigaton... Gigaton Punch. And actually, I'll take out one Mend. Um, we don't have any more Steam Punches. So I guess I'll put that Mend back. Uh, I wish I had more, like, low, like, actual ability cards and less Steam cards for... Um, I keep not doing the thing. <laughs> Uh, we need to kill the, uh, mage first. It's always fun to randomly catch small streams like this. Gloomhaven just downloaded, so I'm gonna go play that, but I hope you have a good time. Thanks very much for, for hanging out, Henrik. I, I appreciate that. Enjoy Gloomhaven. That's a game I would like to get into at some point. I do have it. Uh, I would like to, I would like to get into it. So we're gonna have to combo this guy, this nerd, to, to actually get rid of him he's a problem did I just do oh that's steam punch taking lots of damage right now ooh well now but I don't have this so um how does one Okay, let's let's get rid of this. I want yeah, there we go. But I require more I require more Vespine gas. So I wanna do this and then Gigaton punch and that will tag team maybe? Is this correct? Or does does she have to be after the Gigaton punch? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Punch. Slam. Oh they're Oh yeah, there we go. I just wasted a lot of damage though. It was uh, maybe not smart. We're gonna have to generate a little bit of steam. Oh oh oh! I'm sorry. I have to I have to do the the chains if I can if I see them, and this will benefit the whole team. So. I really like the chains. That's a really, really good way to incentivize, like, taking a turn you might not necessarily take. Oh, 
I should stop attacking them when they have that counter thing up, though. I'm gonna have to mend, uh, C C Copernica. So we need we need more steam for mend. So let's do this, and then we'll attack them, and then we'll do mend on Copernica. Nice. So he's got the counter stance. That means I should start wailing on the other one. Oh no, they both have counter stances. Okay, sometimes you cannot play. Uh, you act. You actually cannot like be optimal. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can't be optimal. It's okay. We have we have the shield up from uh, the last chain. Brave Buster. Okay, that should kill that guy. Oh, we can uh, we can do a, another combo. <clears throat> Honestly, the the combos, the chains, are just just a dopamine release. That's really all they are, and they're a very effective one. They're just the, the equivalent of getting three on a slot machine. And uh, I, I appreciate them for that. Okay, we should be able to do another combo here. Um, so we're an hour and 20 minutes in. When this chapter is over, we'll move on to the next segment. I like how these shields look like more like dense when you when they have more of it. We're just going to generate some steam here. I wish I, I wonder if I can uh, increase the animation speed is maybe the only thing I would like to do. Cuz seeing this over and over again, eventually I am going to oh, wow, he had one health left. Yay, next set. Yo, I'm a tan. Come on now. Remember, we're here for the company. <laughs> I'll have to rewatch from the beginning. I've gotten less interested in slower RPGs as I've gotten older, but SteamWorld has always been a delightful art style to enjoy. I I like it. I like these games. And like I said, you know, it's it's just an opportunity to hang out. That's really all it is. Is it just me or is it getting hotter? Half the village is on fire. Of course it's hot. The smoke is thicker this way, though. We're getting close to town hall. Found two repair vials. Resting will fully heal your heroes, but nearby enemies will respond. Proceed. Oh, God. Uh, I guess not. Because I still have uh, something else I have to explore. I want to I wanna fully explore these chapters if I can. We're here for the card. You're here, remember, you're here forever. Oh, okay. Shield up raises one ally's physical defense by two grades for three turns. Yo, that sounds actually perfect. That sounds actually perfect. Now I'll get rid of one mend. I'll get rid of one Wrecking Ball too, and I'll put in another Mend, and that way... What? They don't have enough? Alright, I'll put in another Gigaton Punch. So this way, um, we can generate more steam with shields up, and then, um, we can also... I guess we don't, we don't, we could have more than eight cards, right? Wait, why does it say 13? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta tweak this a little bit. Keep that. I'm gonna get rid of the men's. I, I just want to be able to generate steam, and then be able to do my uh, the chain combo, and that's gonna make it so that we can, I can recover our whole team. 
So can we only have eight cards or, or what? Your deck can only have eight cards. You need to either remove cards or discard the changes you have made. Okay, keep editing. Okay, I see. Um, all right, we'll get rid of... I'm going to get rid of the Wrecking Balls. Well, the thing is the Wrecking Balls are uh, an actual finishing move that we can do. The Gigaton Punches require... Well, we it doesn't require, but it means that we have to... Um, if we want to make the most of it, we have to play a different card, so that means we don't get the chain off. I don't know. I guess we could do something like this. We'll, we'll try this. Do we have any other cards to throw in? No, not really. Okay. Anything else to destroy? Nope. Okay. Is it a red barrel? Healing potions for robots. Repair vials. That's clever. Wait, was there something else in there that I missed? This fire looked like a chest or something. I'll have to rewatch. Uh, the game is weirdly toying with the robots being organic. It's a weird thing. The robot thing, like, um, uh, theme is, is rather strange. Captain Canary, stop right there. I like his little, the little wings on his wheels. What? Why aren't you with the other prisoners? Bah, those incompetent tin heads. They're soiling the reputation of the Void Army. The Void Army? What exactly are you up to here? Besides burning down Town Hall, obviously. I don't have answers. I don't answer to, the, to any guild scum. I do the bidding of the Dark Lord. Whose sabatons you're not even worthy of polishing. The Dark Lord who? Never heard of him. You could do the bidding of a goat for all I care. If you don't spill the beans, we'll spill them for you. Here we go, boss fight. Look at that, this is exactly what I want. Oh, except I don't, I, I'm not going to generate enough steam to use my combo. That's fine. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and, and do a little bit of steam generation. Buff ourselves up a bit. Okay, can we do- we can do a combo here, perfect. They could have gone with the classical, it's magic, I don't have to explain crap argument. They could have, but they didn't. Sab Sabatons, deja vu. I don't, I don't get it. They drink repair fluids and get healed. They were blatantly talking about stomach growling. I, I, I don't know. Ouch. We could do a another thing here. Let's go ahead and do another thing. I love uh, chain combos that also generate steam and that way we have the flexibility of doing more chain combos in the future that require steam to, to commit to. Oh, I see. So he gets health if he does actual physical damage. More chain combos. Wait, wrong way. Sabatons is a band and Deja Vu is one of their more famous anime style songs. Oh, okay. I missed an hour. How's it going? It's it's going fine. We're, uh, I, I'm, as soon as I'm done this chapter, I'm going to put a pin in, uh, uh, SteamWorld hang, Hand of Gilgamesh. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Ooh. Ooh, we have, we have the chops to do some, some really fun stuff here. Yeah, let's... Ooh. Start with a Steam Punch, then a Wrecking Ball, then a Gigaton Punch. We could actually do more if we wanted. Wait, three... Could we do more? We could do two Giga, Gigaton Punches. Yeah, look at that. That's ridiculous.
Giga Dong Punch! We need another uh, mend everyone. Oh, we could maybe do that. Mm, okay, we're gonna have to trade in a card. Let's trade in this card. Yes. Yeah, I think that would do it actually. Perfect. Another tr another combo that gets us some more shield. Hello, big and crew. Hello, Colin. How are you doing? I love this music actually a lot. He's getting no health back because we are managing to keep my shield up. Fifty-one. Okay, forty-nine. So it doesn't necessarily do the full amount. Oh, he actually got some health back on that one. Ouch. Yo, that hurt. Okay, so the problem here is that I need I need to get rid of some of these. Okay, we're just going to focus on generating some steam. Has to admit this game has pretty great music. Is it? I don't know. I just hope it's not the only track in the game. Yeah, that's fair. Um, oh. Oh, we can do another combo. Perfect. And do a bunch of damage. Get our, get our shield up so he gets no health back. Oh, he actually got some health back on that one. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. I don't really want to continue using our steam. I think I have too many cards that require steam. I, I Rolling things back a bit, I would take out one of the Gigaton punches. Just one. Too many turns I've gotten both of them in both of our uh, in our in our hand. I might have to do some recovery pretty soon. Oh, here we go. This is a nice combo. Lionheart doesn't really do that much damage, and unfortunately, it, it's the only like it heals uh, our Milo. But it doesn't, like, they don't need healing. Ouch. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm starting to regret taking out those men's. I, I, I took out the men's with the, the hope that uh, the chain combos would make up for them. Because we have our chain combos for the mage and uh, for Copernica and... Um, What's his name? I can't remember. Sorry. Are are both recovery? Armillo. Is her name not Armillo? <laughs> we are wearing the boss down though, and I'm probably gonna make it through this without anyone dying. Very snappy. I do wish I could increase the animation speed is the only, my only wish, but uh, it is, it is really good so far. Um, we do have enough to do both of the, oh, except I have to do a wrecking ball. So you know what, um, instead we're going to do this and then let's just do a chain combo. 
It's good. It's good enough. It's an extra 15 damage. I know that uh, if I'd done it with Gigaton Punch, I might have done more damage, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and continue to attack the person with the most armor. All right, uh, Frog Boy is got. I think we actually could do a chain combo here. Yes. And that will actually finish off the boss. I want to get my laundry out of the dryer. Big took out all the men's. He stops his cleric from healing. No, because he heals the entire group if he does a chain combo, which I have managed to do a few of. There's one thing I've learned from the army. It's that a good retreat covers a bad loss. Nice. Everyone leveled up. Galio. Armilly. Oh, it's Armilly. Why is it Armilly? That's a weird name. Galio, I get it. Copernica, I get it. I don't get Armilly. Get back here, you Tweety Bird. Come on, let's go after him. Armilly, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the town is on fire. Oh, right. I guess we should put out those fires. Still, we kicked his can real good. You post vid videos? You've got... Yo, you're, you're YouTuber too, I'm a tan? I didn't know that. Dang. 1.2k? Views? I only got 80%. How, where are some of these chests hiding? The group heal only heals like eight HP. The men heals 35. It's true. You're, you're not wrong. I, I should probably put some of them back. And I did I did say I wanted to take uh, out one of the gigatons. Still, I made it, so you can't say uh, it didn't work. Chapter 3. Hope to see the heroes. I ain't a YouTuber, my guy. I did post one video. It was the weirdest bug in CDDA I encountered. Oh, okay. I think that was the last of the fires. Uh, I feel like I wrung a, uh, a wrung out piece of cloth. That was awesome, Galio. Giving it all to the last drop. That's what a hero is all about. Not everyone obsesses about that stuff as much as you do, you know. I'm taking a nap. Just wake me up when dinner's ready. There's no time to rest. We gotta find out where the guild heroes are. As much as, as much as I'd like to get dragged into another... Sorry, let me try again. As much as I'd like to not get dragged into another Amelie's adventures, she's right. The guild heroes are missing the town, almost burned down to the ground. Not to mention an invading army led by some dark lord. Oh, maybe someone's still at the guild club. Mm, that's a good idea. And the fastest way there is... I am not walking through the apple orchard again. Last time I got stung nine times. The bees are annoying, but we don't have any time to spare. Let's go. Dogged by misfortune. <clears throat> Loaded dice. That is the end of the segment. Uh, let me just change up um, Galio's style a little bit. We'll take out Giga Punch and we'll take put in one Mend. Take out one Wrecking Ball, put in another Steam Punch, and that should be good enough. I, I'm I'm a fan of that. That's fine. I told you I was bad at building decks. You didn't believe me. Why didn't you believe me? Quit. Bimple is using bot plays to get more views. Am I? What? Uh, I did post one video, big, that group heal only heal, yeah, okay, sorry, I'll not backseat game. No, 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 you can backseat game, F feel free. Uh, don't take my, my comment about winning as snarky, uh, ness, snarkiness. I, <laughs> feel free to, to, to give me comments. However, um, allow me the, uh, room to ignore your advice that doesn't mean don't give it 
that means uh, I like to sometimes experiment with a bad strategy. I know I said I'm bad at deck building games. That doesn't mean uh, I don't generally like to, to you know, play them because it does offer a little bit of experimentation. Uh, I, am a, I am a person who likes to try techniques that I think are probably bad because I wanna see if they work. It's a, I don't know, it's maybe a weird quirk about me, but it's a, it's something that I enjoy about games is experimentation and, and seeing if they allow the flexibility of trying very strange strategies. Um, it's something that got me into deck building games in the first place. I mean, uh, I don't know how many people here have played Dominion, but it was like one of the original deck building games. And it had a lot of flexibility in it for trying quirky and strange strategies. And they didn't always work, but they were fun to try. You know, sometimes it's it's fun trying uh, tactics that, that don't necessarily work, are not optimal. I've said it before, I'll say it again, sometimes playing optimally is not the most fun way to play a game. Uh, but yeah, Kevbo, don't, don't feel that you can't give me your advice. You are often correct. Uh, honestly, and uh, I, I want you to feel like you can throw your your tips in chat. It's not backseat gaming. Backseat gaming is a term applied to those who are being basically rude about how they uh, guide the streamer. Um, backseat gaming is basically turn left, not right. What you're doing right now is incorrect, and uh, and and you're you're you know not smart, right? That's that's how I look at backseat gaming. It's not, hey, I know you're you're taking a route right now, but it's not necessarily the optimal route. Here's another. Here's something you should try. Or hey, I see you're struggling. Um, can I can I give you some advice? That is like so much more kind, and it's way like I'm you know me personally, I'm going to be more receptive to something like that. But also, I think in general, people are going to be more receptive to like, hey, you know, here's a here's a here's a couple of tips if you're struggling and. Uh, that's just like so much more respectful than like, hey, idiot, you're doing it wrong. Stop playing. Uninstall the game. You know. 